All right, let me show you guys what I got going on here. So to, I have a eight gallon stainless steel kettle. Uh, today I installed that ball valve there. Um, it also comes in with a dip tube. It's an anvil brewing dip tube. Installed that in there. It took a while to get that hole in here because it's pretty thick stainless steel. I used a uh, titanium drill bit that I got. Um, still took a pretty long time to get through that steel with that drill I got there. Um, so I wanted to, I want to be able to rack from my kettle without using a racking cane. I can just rack directly from there out of the dip tube. But I also want to be able to whirlpool while I'm cooling um, to cool faster and to collect debris in the middle of the kettle. So I got an idea of the cheapest way to possibly do this. So this right here is a stainless steel blow-off tube that I got for about $7 on Amazon. I bent it into a shape that's kind of uh, going straight, uh, perpendicular, or I'm sorry, parallel to the bottom of the kettle, um, up against the wall of the kettle. So I bent it to where it's straight, and I'm just using a clamp to hold it in place. So now that I have this ball valve, I can circulate through my pump, up through the DIY whirlpool arm to make a whirlpool. As you can see, I've already tested it out, and things are kind of uh, congregated in the middle. That's just like uh, shrap metal from the kettle from drilling just to show you that it's kind of uh, everything is kind of organized in the middle just from a simple whirlpool so let me plug this in and show you how effective this whirlpool is all right so everything's plugged in it's circulating through the pump As you can see, that water is moving pretty dang good. You see that little piece of leaf there? It's going round and round. So I'm thinking that's going to help cool everything pretty quickly and it's going to help get all the, that Trug uh, hop debris, that you, all that stuff that you don't want into your fermenter to kind of go into the middle after cooling. So this. So the ball valve with the dip tube and the blow-off tube that's stainless steel uh, all cost me about $60 on Amazon. Cheers, guys.